All right, welcome to another episode of Community Replay. This is Kyle Locke, and today we've got Wayne Jennings. Hello. We've got Dean Thurston. What up? We got Ben Texter. Hello. And we have Aiden Kavanaugh. Hello. This is probably, I think, our biggest group of people for uh, for a community replay. So we'll see how this goes. We got a couple new people too. We got uh, Wayne on his first community replay, and then Aiden as well. Yeah, sir. And me. Oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I think it's just because oh, it, uh, of Overcast, and I, I get them mixed up all the time. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, today we're playing Descent for the PlayStation 1. This is an extremely old game, 1996. Uh, let's go with oh, Rookie. But, but, yeah, this was a uh, old game where uh, basically it's just like a... I don't know, first person shooter slash hybrid with the uh, with uh, ships and stuff. And it's kind of weird. But who here, uh, we kind of already talked about it, but who here again has played it? I think I have. Yeah. I think. I think. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. Yeah, it's like a flight sim. Okay, so let's see. Let me figure out the controls. Okay, X is to go backwards. Triangles go forwards. Oh God. Uh, regular up is down, down is up. Inverted controls using the D pad. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. And then, oh man, square and circle are to strafe. Right, tr right. Uh, R one is to shoot missiles. Oh man, you can tilt using. L2 and R2, and then L1 are your machine guns. Oh my god. So are you in like a spaceship? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What a horrible control system. Yeah. This is <laughs> really like... weird. Oh god, there's an enemy. I remember a spaceship being able to strafe. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this is awful. These controls are so bad. <laughs> These are made the by the guys that made a Fallout 1 and 2, right? Uh, really? It's made by uh, Interplay, Interplay, so I think yeah. that, yeah. Um, oh my god. A much better game than this. Oh jeez. <laughs> like, I think, well obviously this was before like we really had much of a standard for what... Oh god. For uh, yeah. what controls are for games and stuff, but even so, oh my god. <laughs> and I think this came out before the dual, st dual stick uh, analog controller, so it's just like... They had to come up with some way of doing uh, dual analog, but oh god. Without the dual analog. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, does this have dual analog? No, I have it. I have it turned on on my on this, and it's just it's not doing anything. <laughs> so yeah, I have to yeah. literally turn it back off in order to start using the D-pad again. That's just weird. <laughs> Oh god. Yeah, I got I got the PS1 uh, right after they started using only dual analog, so uh, I never had to deal with that stuff. Well, unless you had like a game where it was just it didn't support it or something, but yeah, even so it's just like oh my god. I remember the first game I think I played using dual analog was uh, Ape Escape actually. <laughs> Good really first game. Fun. That was a that was a great great use for dual analog though for the time. Okay, where am I? What am I supposed to be doing? I don't even know. It looks all right from what I can see, though, like graphically. Graphically, this was pretty graphic. like different because it's it's uh it's kind of like that hybrid of uh, 2D and 3D, kind of like Duke Nukem 3D. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> what? You guys don't like Duke Nukem? I'm I'm not a fan of Duke Nukem. Like. <clears throat> I know. I actually know the guy. A guy who worked on that game. I, uh, cool. I, I mean, I thought Duke Nukem 3D was interesting. I really couldn't get into it that much. The first one I played, though, was Duke Nukem Time to Kill for the PlayStation. <laughs> and that one's just weird. <laughs> Anyone here get Forever? I'm planning on no. picking it up after it goes down in price, probably. I got it no. at midnight release. Oh, man. Uh, I'm not, I, I have no regrets. <laughs> <laughs> Stand by my purchase. 
super dark in this game, too. I can't see where I'm going half the time. Okay, I think this is where I started. Oh, God. Okay, let's try this door. I need an access. I need a, I need a key card. And a <laughs> ship. My ship needs a key card. Good luck. To what get it, you'll heck? have to roll down the window and take a <laughs> seat out. And... Yeah, oh, man. Goodness. Okay. Like the little parking passes when you go to... <laughs> <laughs> what do I? I don't. Oh my god! Hey, there are shipmates in here. I I rescued a hostage. <laughs> there are hostages. All right. So apparently something bad is going on. Wait, a hostage oh, spaceship? I no, they were like people, but uh, I, I don't. I guess they're in they, my ship now. They're, I don't know. They're large. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like your ship. Can you like is your ship actually like really big in the back or something? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, do I have like a really big cargo like end to it or something? Or it's like the beginning of Star Wars where it just keeps <laughs> scrolling and scrolling. Yeah, the ship. I have like a. Uh, I'm just. I have like a, a trailer behind me, trailing behind. <laughs> or is it like clowns in a circus? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the clown car. They like, just like pile yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, I can go down here. All right, let's see what's down here. Some energy. And enemies! Oh, God. Strafe. No, please. Strafe. Strafe. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm starting to get used to it. It's, it, it's, it's starting to grow on me, but it's still really weird. So you're strafing with the shoulder buttons? No, I'm strafing with the circle and the square button. Oh god! Wow. Yeah. So <laughs> the so the buttons like the triangle, X, square, circle, those all um, take care of which direction you're moving in, whereas the directional pad will be like your aim. Oh. So it's basically kind of like dual thumbsticks, except it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh god. Okay. Okay, there's nothing there. Where am I? Where do I go? Where do I go? To where? Um, over there. You go over there. Over there. Okay. Uh, uh, over at that blur over there. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pointing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. It's helping. Um, okay, I seem to be stuck. I, I don't <laughs> see an exit anywhere. Uh, do a three-point turn. I... Where where did I come in? I don't even see where I came in from. What the heck? It's gone. The entrance is gone. <laughs> maybe It'll maybe never I'm come back. I maybe I'm supposed to find something in here before I can leave. I don't. I don't know. I'm shooting the walls. I don't know what's going on. That's the that's how everyone does everything. If once you're <laughs> Stop you shoot in every direction. Yeah, just just, just figure blow it out. all the hell. Yeah, exactly. There it is. Yeah. They put like a wall back over. They cemented over <laughs> the wall so I couldn't get back out. Well, man, they work fast. Yeah, I was gonna say that's that's some pretty uh pretty quick work. Uh, so, do we know what's going on right now, or are we just yeah, flying around plot? shooting? There, there shooting was a aliens. story, but I kind of skipped it. <laughs> 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 just cause like I don't remember I don't remember the story at all for this game. It was just go in and start shooting stuff, you know, like most games. Yeah. Oh my god. Like, con like Contra. Don't tell me I'm right back at the start again. I am. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the heck? And I'm out of missiles. That's wonderful. Oh, there's an enemy. So are these like levels or is it like a big open game like Metroid? It's it's got levels. I'm just trying to find my way. Th to the end of this level. Come on, we gotta get to at least at least end of level one. There's the red key card. Okay, red key card. Enemies, shoot the enemies. Get the get to the end of level one, and then you're done, and then you <laughs> won. Yay! It's been a while. <laughs> oh, son! <laughs> I just see red everywhere. Yeah, there's like lava, <laughs> which is strange because this lava. is like a um. A space station. I don't know why they have lava on a space <laughs> yeah. station. All space stations have lava rooms. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. It's it's quintessential to uh, to survival. Yep. Yep. Okay, we have the red key card, so now we can go back. Where's their trash compactor? 
Oh yeah, we gotta get we gotta get <laughs> there. We gotta we gotta save Luke. Ah, <laughs> two, it is you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we need to find the there. Wait, is that the entrance? No, that's not. What what are those blue things you're picking up or going through? Uh, those are like energy orbs that keep my life up. And then okay. like the bright yellow things are too. Okay, can I just go up to the door? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I didn't have to like press a button or anything, which is nice. Just have to yeah. just go up to it and it opens. That's nice. Oh my god. <laughs> and the controls are like slow too, like it takes a little while for you to like make a turn. Oh man, there are a lot of enemies in here. Uh, you driving, so you're driving like a, a Jeep um spa uh, spacecraft? Pretty much. More like a uh, like a semi. Oh god, <laughs> what is this thing? Yeah. I feel like the uh, the guys doing the super replay. Oh, ship got destroyed. All right. You died in the mine. Your ship and its contents were incinerated. Awesome. That's, that's... stars of over. Great. Oh, now I see it. Oh, <laughs> Wayne had to uh, switch to his phone. Don't tell me I have to start all over again. Please tell me I don't have to start all over again. Oh, I have to start all over again. Wait, wait. Oh. Do you have to go find the red key card again? No, it's still taking me to the next level. Oh, that's nice. Excellent. Right, what did I miss? Um, he died. Be, about uh, that. I don't know. Where, what was the last thing you saw? I uh, I've still been watching it, but the phone just cut out, and so I don't know what I had. Oh, okay. Um, basically, we got the red key card, Dean did a little rap, um, and then I got blown to smithereens and incinerated. Oh, good job. Yeah. But it still sent me to level two for, I don't know why. <laughs> That's well our game done. should be. Yeah, yeah, you fail and you still get to go to level two. Oh my god. You know, I think this may be the furthest I got in this game. Level 2. <laughs> and I was just like, alright, that's it. <laughs> so let's see if we can beat level 2. See if I can... So, so back in the game, was this game... Uh, sorry, back in the day, was this game except, uh, good? Yeah, like, uh, when it came out, I'm pretty... I, I, I know there are some people who just were obsessed with it. Ah. Um, <laughs> actually, I was listening to uh, the Rooster Teeth Drunk Tank podcast. Um, oh, yeah. They're the guys who do like red versus blue. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, they, uh, Joel, the guy who plays Caboose in Red versus Blue. Apparently, this was like <laughs> he obsessed over this game. Like he would play it day in and day out. <laughs> have, have you guys seen a new season of Red versus Blue? Oh yes. Yeah. It's so good. I. Am, I've never uh, watched it. Oh, it's good. Oh man, you're missing out. It's hilarious. I have all the seasons so far on DVD. I even got their like remastered edition. Um, of the first five seasons where they used Halo PC in order to make it in high definition and stuff. <laughs> so yeah. Great. I saw them at PAX. It was pretty cool. Got to see their I wish I could go to like, something like PAX, but it's so far away. I'm going to be living in Boston next year, so that'll be great. Oh, man. Yeah, me too. Oh, cool. Where are you, what are you going for? My, uh, my wife lives there. Oh, I'm going to college. Yeah, after three years waiting, I finally have my visa, so I'm I'm gonna be there too. Wait. Nice. Yeah, that's that's such a crazy story. You and you and your visa. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm happened? It, it's far too long and drawn out to <laughs> to go into. It. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll get into it later when this is finished. I, I'm sure the rest of the world doesn't want to hear the, the woes of my life. It's a good story. No, but they they want to hear how messed <laughs> like, our government system is probably. <laughs> it can wait. Oh, okay. okay, so let's see here. What's? Hey, we got more hostages. Let's let's break them out. How do you break them out by shooting at them? Uh, shooting rockets at the the prison door. Oh, uh, that's safe. So yeah, because you know, the explosion's not going to kill them. <laughs> nah. They'll, they'll they're chained down. You can't protect them. They're in, they're, it's the future, you know? We're, we're protected <laughs> from explosions. 
But doors aren't. But yeah, we, we can't get through <laughs> doors. Oh yeah, run run face first into them. It's like smash <laughs> right into them. That's how you get them in the ship. Exactly. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Alright, you're in the ship now. I rescued you. <laughs> can't say I didn't try. Now, these things on the right side of your screen, I'm gonna assume that symbol there is supposed to be a missile? Yes. Is that what I'm seeing? <laughs> okay, just making sure. Yeah, and then the left side is my laser, and I'm a, oh, my laser's only a level one. Sad, oh. pa sad panda. <laughs> <laughs> that does not look like a missile. I see a pixel and a slightly bigger pixel. I see a missile... Or no. either that or a silver penis. I don't know, one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> it's Michelin's. <laughs> it's Michelin's. <laughs> oh, man. That super replay is amazing. Absolutely oh. loving it. Oh, okay, we're getting out of here. Oh, my God, enemies everywhere. Evasive maneuvers. <laughs> if I knew how to drive this thing. Okay. Holy crap! Yeah, how's that, that working out for you, the whole amazing thing? Yeah, these controls are awful. I, I mean, I, I would assume probably back in the day, you would, uh... You would probably not have as much trouble just because you weren't used to there being a standard. But even so, it's just like, ugh. It's, it's hard to come back to these kind of controls that you, you know, when you're so used to something. Oh, I thought you said the spaceship was a, a standard, or like had a stick shift. And I was like, what? Yes, <laughs> it's a stick shift. You know, I learned how to drive a stick shift, you know, at a young age, and I figure, you know, it's a good, it's a good skill to know. <laughs> Why is there a wall? Why is there a tunnel here if there's no, if it doesn't lead to anything? Okay. Uh, <laughs> bad, bad map development here. Okay. Yeah. All right, we need a key card for that one, which we do not have. We have a blue key card, though. <laughs> you couldn't get past key cards in this age, could you? No, it, it was just an endless thing. It's just every game had to have key cards. I remember I had a skateboarding game for PS1, and I have expected key cards in that. That would be just, just ridiculous. <laughs> Tony Hawk, get the next level. You need a key uh, card. Key cards. I'm so glad we're past that. Yeah. There's a joke about that, though, in Duke Nukem Forever. Yeah. Right there. I was about to say that. <laughs> I like that a lot. I really want to play the game just because of all the jokes. I actually I uh, was watching a video of the Christian... Uh, there's like a Christian Bale rant thing in the game. I mean, you're going to get Duke. You're going to get immature humor, and that's what I love. <laughs> if you're looking for highbrow humor, then you're looking in the wrong place. But, uh, haven't beaten it. I got to this one point... I don't want to give it away, but I don't know. I got lost in the level. Oh. Yeah, I played the demo, and, I, you know, I didn't think it was horrible. I thought it was pretty entertaining. Yeah. I like but, Borderlands a lot more. Well, yeah. <laughs> I am interested in seeing what they do with the IP, though, like, now that they have it. If they're going to, yeah. like, try and make it more appealing to current console gamers and stuff. You guys, oh, you guys hear about the, um, the remake of Duke Nukem 3D? I did not. Well, this in independent fan, fan group uh, started, they're remaking it in um, Unreal Engine. Oh my. <laughs> and um, and Gearbox gave them the, the go-ahead. That's awesome. Oh. Yeah. Oh, like, really? Yeah, they were like, yep, we want you to do this. And it's going to be free. It's going to be free for PC. Woohoo. I'm so glad oh. I have a high-end PC. <laughs> yeah, I have a good graphics card in mine. What kind of graphics card do you, you have? I don't know, good enough to run X and A, so... At least it goes in Xboxes. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Now we have the red key card. Yay! Only thing is my processor's crap. Yeah, I've got a quad core processor, three mine's gigahertz. So. Three, mine's eight hundred megahertz. <laughs> wow. <laughs> need to need to replace that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I didn't. Oh, our laser has been boosted up to level two. Sweet. Oh yeah! Oh, they're purple Hooray. now. Awesome. Our I'm a fire in my laser. <laughs> I wonder how many people still get that joke. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Such an old joke. Where my gamer take come from? 
<laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, what's this purple thing? <laughs> Cloaking device. Oh, back when we had to try things before we knew what they were. Oh god. Another one of these little like reactor things that killed me last time. Oh god. Okay. I mean, the, the action in this game looks good at least. Doesn't look boring. No, it's actually it's not too bad. Like the action's pretty cool and the enemy placement's good. Okay. It's just really hard to control and yeah. sometimes you feel a little confused. Oh god, I got to get out of here. Holy crap. Okay, I got to get back to the exit. <laughs> This is like Metroid. You have to get out after you've destroyed the, um, the the little core thing. Oh, I haven't beaten Metroid. Oh, got it. I've got what? 18 seconds. Look, man. I'm 18. So? I don't. I, don't, I haven't played that many old games. Oh, I beat. I'm, I'm getting on it because I got an NES SNES player. So. Oh god. Oh god. I'm right. First thing it. you do is I'm download Super it. Metroid right now. Oh god. Um, yeah. It's right now, right in the middle of this? Okay. Yep, yep. Died in the mine. Get out and play it. ship <laughs> and its contents were incinerated. Again. Oh, boy. <laughs> that ruins oh, my day. Alright, well, I think that's a good look at uh, Descent, so stay tuned for Replay Roulette. <laughs> Alright, welcome back to Replay Roulette. Uh, I know what we're playing, but uh, nobody in the room, or the chat room, or the uh, the Skype room knows what we're playing. I don't think this is good graceful. already. <laughs> oh man, that's blue. Oh. Oh, nice. <laughs> what is it's it? It's a Dia Derby. Is that what it's oh called? man! What a classic! My Dest favorite! Destruction Derby. Oh, I thought it said Quesadilla Derby. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want that game now. <laughs> I used to love that game. It would be too cheesy. This, <laughs> I loved this game as a kid. Like, this was yeah. the game I would always put in if I just wanted to just, just mindless destruction. And it was just... <laughs> so is it like, um, Twisted Metal? Not really. No, no. It's, it's like just like doing a real destruction derby where you're just crashing your cars into people and like uh, okay. stuff like that. Oh, just like the real ones. Eh? Oh, so yeah. how, how I play GTA then? Oh, okay, yeah. It's crashing into everything I see. Or, you know, burnout or something like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so how I play L.A. Noir. <laughs> yeah, L.A. Noir. <laughs> see here. See, so we can choose the rookie car. We can choose the amateur car, which is the Grim Reaper. The pro, which is the smoothie. Let's see here. So this is kind of random. Have you guys played um the the boat racing game like Tropical uh, Thunder Hurricane or something? Or oh, Hydro you Thunder? mean Hydro Thunder? Hydro Thunder. Hurricane. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I love that game. Yeah, I had I um I reviewed that actually because really? I I was I did a uh, last summer I did a review of the entire arcade summer of arcade thing so. Oh nice. Because uh nice. I remember pl I played that I played that game on a boat going to Block Island, and um, it was the boat. only game I never, I didn't get last place in every time. <laughs> On a boat. Uh, let's yeah. see here. Wrecking racing. Race, we'll just do race practice, I guess. Mm. Go! Buckle are you doing the actual like time. racing, or are you doing the last man standing? Type this thing? is the actual racing, but we will do that after this because awesome. that was the best part of it yeah oh my god it was literally just like you're in a just a bowl with a bunch of other people just and you just see who's the last person standing just annihilate everyone like a rice bowl yes like a rice bowl noodle bowl yeah that's that's exactly um, how it works a little little bit bigger <laughs> you know. i think you're getting this confused with micro machines <laughs> Oh man, yeah, two that was first. That's sick as well. Yeah, just running over Cheerios. <laughs> but uh, I mean, are the controls better in this game? The turning is a little bit um, iffy. Like if I, if I'm holding down like right to turn right, mm -hmm. it uh, it seems to go too far sometimes. Like it's it's a little overly sensitive. Oh man, we got a bunch of cars that are like turning around and trying to kill me. How do you handbrake? 
Handbrake. Um, uh, looks like it's triangle. Maybe. Yeah, it's triangle. <laughs> I wouldn't advise it. No, I wouldn't either. <laughs> See, this is the fun part of this game. There are people who are literally trying to take you out. Like, you know how sometimes yeah. you're playing online or something with people and they're, they're like, trying, like, oh, I'm going to be a dick. I'm going to turn around and start going the other direction and stuff. That happens <laughs> yeah. in this game with the computers. <laughs> <laughs> I remember in... Um... I played Need for Speed Underground 2, and how I beat everyone was I would go up behind them and then get right behind them and then turn so like they would spin around behind me. So like I would you know, hit him with the front of my car on the side and make him spin. Oh okay. Yeah. Yeah. You, you were doing pretty much what you have to do in every LA Noir chase scene. <laughs> oh, I haven't played that game. Oh it's man, it's it's so amazing. I'm so going back. I already beat it, and I'm going back and trying to get five stars on everything. Oh nice. It's so great. I rented it yesterday. And uh, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's alright, I suppose. I I loved like detective games and stuff. I used to love playing um all the old kind of things. And then like Batman Arkham Asylum, I was I loved that, that game's game. awesome. And I, I will admit, the, I did really like that. All the detective elements in that game were really cool, and uh, I just Hold it. so blown away by um the uh, the visuals in LA Noir. I can't believe that it looks yeah. so good. The video is the mouth, so I was like, holy crap. I yeah. can actually, like, I can see that this guy is an actor from that thing, or, like, you actually recognize people. Yeah, um, actually, one of the cases, um, there's a guy who actually was one of the characters on the, the TV show Heroes. Really? Yeah. All I know oh, is, I, saw, I remember that mission. <laughs> yeah, I, know I saw main that, and I was like, man. oh, my God, it looks just like him. I saw one of the guys who used to be in um, Home Improvement on it. Really? Al Borg? Really? <laughs> no, no, not him. The guy who played... Um, Tim Allen's brother. He was one of the guys in one of the cases. I think there's another uh, guy that we all know on it. In it, he's kind yeah. of an NPC. <laughs> there's uh, been multiple vi vi uh, videos of people trying to kill him. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. I have no idea. <laughs> Joe Juba. Yep. Yeah, Joe Juba. Joe's in the game. <laughs> I wish. <That's> it. <laughs> just the entire GI crew shows yeah, just up, and you have to like take him out. Yep. <laughs> An achievement for killing them all. It's like <laughs> should be a side mission. <laughs> all right, here we go. Destruction if they, Derby. If they got a, if they give them a bad review, that would have been a side mission. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> DLC. <laughs> yeah, I actually picked up Ellie Noir from uh, from Walmart, and like every single different store, I guess, has a separate uh, side mission that like comes with the Ooh. game that you can get. Really? Huh. Oh, really? Yeah, like, mine came with, uh, what was it called? Uh, crap, I forget what the game, what the actual side mission was, but that, that's kind of a cool thing, but at the same time, I'm kind of worried. I'm hoping that, like, they do a thing where eventually you can download them all via DLC or something. I think, yeah, yeah I think I heard that. To. No, for games, they did the one for GameStop already. They announced that they're going to make it so you can download that one. Yeah. Um... Cause they have to do it because the yeah. side missions have achievements, right? Yeah. Like yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. They gotta do. Well, that. they have to, or people won't be able to 100 percent it. Yeah. Get mad and start. Well, try today. Well. So this is this is the rice bowl. Yeah. This is the this, yeah. is the this is the rice bowl, and basically just going around trying to take everybody out and be the last person standing. Nice. Looks. This like it looks pretty fun. Oh man, this thing was so it much is. fun. Oh man. I would play this game for hours just doing this this level where I would just take everybody hey, out. Can you do multiplayer it's really good against each venting other? Thing. Huh? Oh yeah. Can you do multiplayer against each other? Yes, you can. You can even do like yeah, system link fun. and stuff like that. But I think it'd be cool like bring this. I don't know if it's on PSN or something like or anything like that. But yeah, this on live would be good. Yeah, this would be awesome online. I would love to play this against a bunch of other people. See, this is always my strategy. I start smoke. My, my car starts smoking, so I just like start driving around the outside. <laughs> Let them all take care of each other. And That's a lot of like, smoke. Yeah, and be the I, last. Person. I always just did that anyway. I'd circle around until there's only a couple of people left, and then yeah. pick them off one by one. That's how it's, I played Smash Bros. Just oh, like stand in that corner. Someone took me out. It's it's really funny when you your car is just so damaged that you're like just puttering along, <laughs> and you're like going like you know five miles an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's try it again one more time, and then uh, I think we'll call it on this one. But mm -hmm. man, this and I everybody always goes straight in and like crashes into everybody. I just go around. 
Yeah. <laughs> just like back and then let everybody crash into each other and then I just go around. <laughs> Apparently you can download it for PS3. It is on PSN? Oh no. I think so. Yeah. That's, that would be awesome if they had like online capabilities where you can just play it online with people. This would be so much fun, especially because there's like, I don't know, probably a good 20 or 30 cars in this in this bowl. Yeah. That'd be yeah. so cool. So what are like the different car stats? I know you talked about like difficulty, but like... Yeah, the, it, I think that's pretty much all it is based on. It's just like you you get the rookie car and obviously the game is easier. If you get the medium uh. car or the amateur car, it's a little harder. And then the pro car, it's the hardest difficulty. I thought you meant like they would, yeah. I think like the difference is like they have different body strengths. Yeah. Yeah. And they go Generally. faster. Another good strategy: use the back of your car, not the engine, because. Yeah. Obviously, if you have your engine taken out, you're done. So yeah. I usually just go backwards. Yeah. And my dad Go gave ahead. me that advice when I learned how to drive. <laughs> I really need to learn how to drive. <laughs> Seriously, need to learn how to drive. Well, wait till you get to Boston so you can drive on the right side of the road. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, man, this is America. Oh, jeez. The land of the free. <laughs> I'm kidding. Man, it's too bad Ish. you weren't on our getaway. The getaway. You're living uh, in the replay. past is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> the land, the free, where gas prices are over five dollars. Uh, I am so glad that's not true right now. <laughs> yeah. Driving on the right is the future. <laughs> Come on, go. Oh man, it's a huge. Wow, you're getting absolutely right. <laughs> right is right. Oh man. Correct. This is madness. Oh god. Oh man. I think you're dead. My car, like, one side of it now is having, tr it, it's like <coughs> leaning to one side. It always wants to turn a certain way now. Well, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, the damage yeah. is really cool in the game. Oh, man, they're just trying to kill me. <laughs> Come on, like go. You. They go. realize you're the player, so like, Get hey, him. kill him, we're done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we take him out, the game's over. <laughs> oh, my God. My car is going so slow. <laughs> they're just smashing into the wall trying to hit you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> My car is just completely destroyed. Going so slow. <laughs> I'm gonna hide behind this car right here. <laughs> oh, that didn't work. They're coming in from that side. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> See, the thing is, like, my car is going super slow, and there's still other cars out there that are going really fast. Like that guy who just tried to kill me. Oh man. Jesus. <laughs> I gotta like, find Why cars you? that I can hide behind or something. Okay, let's move. Get some cover. Go prone. Exactly. Okay. okay. Stay right here. That, that works. Okay. Oh crap! Oh god! Like an ant in a pepper <laughs> shaker. Oh. What? I don't yeah, know. Just like that. Oh, like, oh, I get it now because they're both. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Do you have any like other camera views, or is it just that one? Um, here we go. I can. Oh god, not the first person view. No. No, 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 no. If you're trying to play a racing game like that, it's pretty fun. It's really a... Uh... It's really disorienting, but yeah, it's pretty interesting. I did that in GTA, and I was just like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> did you guys see the episode of Immersion where they tried driving a car in real life from a third person perspective? Yeah! Um, oh, yeah. And then was, the Yakuza attacked them. That was amazing. <laughs> I really wish uh, I could give that a shot. I like the uh, Mario side viewing one. I want to try that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty interesting. Okay, come on. How many cars are left? And I'm really dis, dis um, uncoordinated as it is. I think I'll just be falling every three steps. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Is it still that one car just trying to kill you? Just, I think it's one car left. Just, just, just head right at him, man. I, I can win. barely turn. <laughs> <laughs> Go out with a bang. Like literally. I'm turning. As, <laughs> I'm turning as sharply as I can right now. Oh, he helped, he helped me. <laughs> oh god, this is not a good spot to be in. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. This has turned from being like the most exciting game ever to being the <laughs> Running most boring. Running for your life. <laughs> like Dead Space. <laughs> Dead I didn't Space. play that. I've never being... played a horror game before. What? 
Dead Space went from being extremely exciting to extremely boring? I, I don't... No, no, I mean, uh, never mind. Oh, there are two cards. No, you were going to say terrifying or something. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> there are two more cars left over. Okay, come on. Where Is that including you, or? Oh, they're, like, following behind me, so I can never, like, catch up to them. <laughs> Good strategy. Smart AI. <laughs> okay. There's a pile of cars here. No, I'm not going to try that strategy. Just like hide behind them and have them ram into Build them. Build a castle of wreck. <laughs> yeah. Start pushing cars into a little corner and just make my own little... Oh my god. Awesome. Okay. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Oh, there's one. Oh, I can't I see, but the crowd seems enthralled. Yeah, I know. They're, they're, they seem very large, too. They're, uh... They're Woo! Keep oh turning right! Oh god. I mean, I guess they like NASCAR, so turning oh right no. is like some. Oh no! My car is so. It's flashing. Oh my god! Yeah, the car's yeah. All blurry. It's flashing in the bottom corner now. <laughs> <laughs> I see like a giant flame coming out of the top of it. <laughs> I see a giant tornado coming out. Of yeah, yeah, there's, there's a, like a giant white top <laughs> now. I think I'm half the screen. Oh god! <laughs> oh god! Oh no! Uh, <laughs> we are going to win this. <laughs> Help me, Doc. The cars. Join the Nintendo Fun Club today, Mac. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, there's actually, I, I, if I remember correctly, there was a sequel to this game. Was it good? It was. It was, yes. And I never played the sequel. I never got a chance to. Oh. Was, it, was it just as good or was it better? Yeah, yeah. In fact, uh, I'm looking on the wiki at the moment. There were th uh, three sequels. Three? Really? Yeah. Oh man, I might have to see if I can. What was the third? Was the third one PS1 as well? No, PlayStation 2. Really? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, I'd like to see if I can find a copy. What's this called again? Destruction, Destruction Derby. Destruction Derby. Okay. Yeah, that sounds fun. I haven't played one of these games in a while. Oh, God. Or ever. <laughs> You've never played That's a long now. time. No. Kind of like this. I don't have that much money. Still living at home. Where are they? Oh, God. Oh, my God. They're both coming after me. They're like not <laughs> trying to kill each other. It's like that. It's like when uh, you ever have those things where you're having a group fight thing, and if one person keeps winning, so like two other guys, like let's team up on him. Yeah, let's take him out. Yeah, it's like <laughs> screw this guy, and you, <laughs> and you get him. You're like, ha, we beat you. And it's like, yeah. Nice my job. my fellow AI. <laughs> yeah. And then you make Let you us... make truces that like break after like four minutes. Yeah. Because you yeah, accidentally yeah. hit the person. Yeah. And you're like I'm sorry. Truce and like, is off. Gotcha. They hit you once back. Like, no, we're even. Oh god. <laughs> He's right behind you. He was like trailing me there for a minute. Oh my god. How the hell are you still going? Is your, fire, is your fire green? That's what it looks like for me. No, no, it's it's still just just white. Oh. Although like my the the windshield looks kind of green for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> oh. Come on. Come this on. has been going on for like 20 minutes. Yeah, I know. This is gonna be like the most enthralling video of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Does your I car eventually explode or? Woohoo! Uh, you won? Uh, <laughs> wait, what happened? It just said race <laughs> over, which means they must have. They, they died. Oh. <laughs> they gave up. Oh. Yeah. Screw this. <laughs> <laughs> so that's our absolutely enthralling and amazing look at Destruction Derby. I like right turns. It is a really fun game, and it's actually still it pretty is. fun to play. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to see if I can find the second and third one because I, I want to see how those turned out. But, and the fourth. Uh, thanks for watching this episode, and I thank Wayne, Dean, Ben, and Aiden for being on today. So, yep. we'll uh, see you on okay. the next episode. Word. Bye. See ya. See ya.